So I started off actually as an engineering student with a little desire to be a doctor, but found the field of epilepsy as some place to do research and found it fascinating and thought this would be a really cool place to apply engineering. And so I really went to medical school with the thought that I was gonna become an engineering researcher doing epilepsy research. And lo and behold, I found that I actually enjoyed seeing patients when I was in medical school. I'm Saurabh Sinha, I'm the director of the EG Laboratories at Penn Medicine. My main focus really is uh, clinical epilepsy, and especially patients with hard to control seizures, people who have tried some medications, tried some treatments and are still not doing well. I mean, the epilepsy certainly, when most of us think about it, uh, including most physicians, the first and foremost thing is the seizures themselves. And certainly that is kind of the cardinal feature or the main feature of the disease. But the reality is for anything that is a chronic condition like epilepsy, there's so much more to it. Every, from Everything from associated symptoms like problems with uh, memory or thinking to associated uh, stressors like mood problems, the impact that it has on their daily life from work and school to simple things like driving. So it really is a disease that affects a patient's life and across the breadth of their life. I've had many patients who uh, have had seizures for years and we have you know, found the seizure focus and been able to remove it surgically as a way of controlling the seizures. And you know, while that's wonderful, I honestly think the ones that I'm probably the most proud of are sometimes the patients where they come to you with a very complicated story, a complicated history, and while you don't find the simple solution, you find that you can really optimize their condition, meaning that they come to you on five medications and sometimes by reducing the number of medications, by optimizing what they're on, you can not necessarily make them seizure free, but you can improve their quality of life tremendously. So one of the things that really makes Penn unique is how closely integrated uh, things like imaging, the neuroradiologist, uh, the neuropsychologist, and the EEG and the engineering groups really are. And that, uh, that collaboration, I think, is really what makes it unique. The imaging technology at Penn has been ahead of the curve for decades. The fact that the neuroradiologists and others are an integral part of our team, actually come to our conference, actually come to discuss cases with us, that I think is really what sets this place apart. While certainly I find the patient care and you know what, what I achieve uh, together with the patients really to be rewarding, I think the part that I find the most exciting about this job is that there's so many different aspects to it, from everything from seeing patients in the clinic and taking care of them to interpreting studies to the complicated surgeries and that kind of thing. But also at a place like Penn, you get to work with researchers, you get to work with uh, medical students, residents, fellows. Uh, every day is a little different.